everyone and welcome to this MBA series with Foreign Admits. In this four part series, we're going to be talking about the MBA or the Masters in Business Administration. We're going to be talking about what it is, how do you build your profile for it, the different types of MBA programs, the pros of the one year versus the two year MBA, and of course, how you can apply for the MBA to study abroad. So subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for our MBA series. The MBA is a much sought after course for thousands of Indian students who have the dream of applying to do an MBA abroad. There are many benefits to an MBA regardless of which industry you're coming from. Given the commitment and the expenses involved, a lot of students wonder if an MBA is actually worthwhile. Apart from of course global exposure because you'll be going to study abroad, here are the four main reasons why you should consider doing an MBA. Number one is of course better job prospects. An MBA abroad can definitely increase your chances of applying and landing a job abroad as well as boost your chances to climb up the corporate ladder. Number two, a change in career. Doing an MBA is a great way for you to switch from the current role that you're in and move into a more managerial role. An MBA is a great way for you to move from one industry to another or one job profile to another. Number three is the skills that the MBA teaches you. The MBA teaches you a lot of different skills hard skills, of course, like finance, strategy, marketing, management, as well as other skills like leadership, networking, conflict resolution, negotiation, critical thinking, analytical skills, all of which you need for management positions in corporate companies, as well as if you want to become an entrepreneur and start your own startup. Number four is networking. Doing an MBA abroad is a great way for you to network with industry leaders, with professors on your college campuses, with alumni from your business schools, as well as of course colleagues, and you get to meet a lot of different people from many, many different industries. So doing an MBA is one of the best ways for you to build a professional network abroad. An MBA can really enhance your career and create opportunities for you to grow and advance in your life. But before you get started on your MBA journey, the number one question that you should be asking yourself is why you want to actually do an MBA, why you want to do it abroad, what will this actually add to your life and what is the career path you are looking at post completing an MBA. You need to get clear on all of these things and have clear and concrete goals before you even begin your application process. Why do you need to do this? Because you are going to be spending a significant amount of time, effort and money on actually giving the exams, applying to these colleges and of course doing the MBA itself. It's a lot of time, effort and commitment that is required of you. Doing some self-reflection, goal setting and introspection is definitely going to help you maximize your strength and create a profile that is very, very appealing to MBA colleges. Now coming to your actual profile, what is your profile? Your profile is basically the knowledge that you have, the expertise that you have, the skills and your achievements. Usually what ends up happening is when you decide to apply for your MBA program, it's maybe one year before your application deadline is due. Now that is very, very short time. You need to start building your profile as soon as possible. I see a lot of students who apply for the MBA right at the last minute. This doesn't give you a chance to actually build your profile or actually write compelling essays in your application. Now coming to who is an ideal MBA candidate, there is no such thing. You can apply for an MBA program no matter which field you come from or what you have studied in college or undergrad. There is no such thing as an ideal candidate. Colleges are actually looking for diverse sets of people, people from different backgrounds and different profiles. But getting into an MBA is not a cakewalk. It requires certain strategies strategies to carefully plan out your profile and your MBA application. The thing that I hear the most is that students feel that if they do really, really well in college, get all A's or are very, very good students, that's a sure, short way to get into an MBA program. That is not true at all. Your scores are just one part of your entire application. Let's get down to the basics. There are two different aspects of building up your profile for an MBA. First part is the quantitative aspects. These are number one, your GMAT or GRE scores. The GMAT is the Graduate Management Aptitude Test that is valid for the period of five years. So you can take it as soon as possible. Component. It has an English component and a math component. Now some of the schools have even minimum cutoffs for GMAT and they won't look at you if you don't have a good GMAT score. That being said, 
said recently a lot of colleges have waived off the GMAT. So definitely do your research before you start applying to colleges to understand whether you actually need to take the GMAT and what the cutoff for that particular college is. Some of the colleges today let you take the GRE instead of the GMAT. GRE is a graduate record examination and it also has an English and math component. Do your research and figure out which exam you actually need to take and how to study for it. You also need to take language aptitude tests for English, which is the TOEFL or the IELTS. The second aspect of the quantitative part of building your MBA profile is your GPA, your college or undergraduate GPA. You definitely need to do well in college or undergrad and have these scores as part of your profile. So whatever you're studying in undergrad or college right now or whatever you study, that will be part of your profile. The third is your application itself, which is your essays, letter of recommendations, personal statement, as well as your resume. Now the quantitative part is something that you can do much quicker, you can study for, you know exactly what you need to do. The qualitative part is something that most students struggle with and that's the part that actually takes much longer to build but it is a majority part of your MBA profile. Now what comes under the qualitative aspects? Number one, your work experience. A lot of students and I mean a lot of students come to us asking questions like can I just apply for an MBA right after college? It is not a good thing at all to apply for a full-time MBA program right after college. You should get at least two to three years of work experience before applying for an MBA program. Work experience is really, really important because it helps you understand how a business actually works. You're going for a master's in business administration. So working in an actual company will give you a lot of insight into how companies actually function. Having some sort of work experience will actually give you a lot of insight into different industries, whether you like that particular company, whether you like that particular industry, whether you like the role that you're actually doing or whether you want to switch or no. That's a very good reason for why you need to have some work ex before you apply to study abroad. Having some sort of work experience is also very beneficial for you as an Indian international student going to study abroad because once you finish your MBA degree, wherever that is, you will be competing with the rest of your class for jobs in that area post your MBA. So if you have no work experience and you're in that MBA program versus your classmate who has two or three or even four years of work experience, when you're applying for the same positions or jobs after your MBA, guess who's going to be selected? It's the person with work experience. So getting work experience is very important. You can do this in an established company or in a startup. That's up to you, but definitely get some sort of work experience before applying for an MBA program abroad. The second aspect to building your qualitative profile is leadership positions. Start taking responsibility in whatever role you're in, whether you're in college or in a job presently, start taking more responsibility, become a lead if you can, or help support the lead member of a team. Take extra initiative, work towards increasing your skill sets, as well as try to get awards and recognition wherever you currently are. All of this adds to your leadership skills and your leadership positions, which is essential for applying to an MBA program. Also, if you can travel as part of your work and take up assignments that are outside of your city or outside of the country that you presently work in, try to definitely apply for these positions and go for them because the more global exposure you have, the more your profile will stand out. Number three is certificate courses. In whatever subjects you're interested in, take additional certificate courses in the area and build up your skill sets. It could be languages, writing, coding, uh, financial analytics, data analytics, whatever it is, if you can take short term courses apart from what you've actually studied in undergrad or college, that will definitely add to your profile. Number four is your communication skill. Now, most MBA programs are quite practical and they require you to speak up in class and present in front of people. So having good English communication skills is very, very critical. Number five is getting involved. What do you do outside of your nine to five job? 
What is it that you like to do? What is it that you're passionate about? What is it that you contribute to words? This is important to build up your MBA profile. It could be anything. It could be volunteering activities. It could be a passion project. It could be hobbies like sports or music. Pick one or two things that you're genuinely interested and passionate about and get involved. The sixth aspect of building up your qualitative profile is networking. You need to have good relationships with your college professors, school professors, people you work with, your boss, your colleagues, teammates, all of these people. And don't just do this during appraisal time. Actually build genuine connections with all of these people. This is important because it's these people who you can ask for letters of recommendation once you actually get to the MBA application process. Number seven is personal branding. Now it's not always easy to do. It is something that most students don't even think about when they apply for an MBA or master's abroad. But having a personal brand is something that's very critical to help you stand out from everyone else. How do you actually start talking about and becoming an expert in certain fields? How you build a brand about you? What are your values? What is your mission? What do you like talking about? What are you passionate about? That's what your personal brand stands for. Your personal brand is something that will help you gain credibility, gain exposure, as well as build your confidence and leadership skills. The biggest mistake Indian students make is thinking that their GMAT scores or their GPA in college is all that is required to apply to a grade B school and get in. That is not true. Your GMAT as well as your college GPA is only one aspect of your entire profile. Like I mentioned before, the college is looking for students from different backgrounds, who have different passions, who have different interests, and who have different career paths. They want the classrooms to be diverse. So your scores, while important, are not something that are going to set you apart from everyone else. The qualitative aspects is what is actually going to showcase your personality and give you the actual essence of what you're going to be able to talk about in your essays as well as the MBA interviews after you have applied. If you don't know anything outside of your roles and responsibilities and your actual job, you will not be able to distinguish yourself from everyone else who's also applying to the same MBA program. Please keep in mind when you're applying for the MBAs abroad, there are students from across the world especially when you're applying to the best business schools that are students who are coming from everywhere around the world who have done a lot of different things than you have who've been exposed to many different things that you may not have so your job here is to actually differentiate yourself make yourself as unique as possible have different interests be passionate about things get involved in things and actually showcase why they should pick you over everyone else Studying for your exams and filling up your application will actually take you about 9 to 12 months of time. But building up your qualitative aspects of your profile, which is things that you're passionate about, your projects, your volunteer activities, your communication, your leadership, or your personal brand, all of these take time to build. So start as soon as possible. Try to start two to three years before you actually want to go to study abroad. The main thing that you need to keep in mind while applying for an MBA is your goals. Figure out why you actually want to do an MBA, how it will fit into your career path or your life, and what will you personally gain from actually doing an MBA program. If you're considering applying to business schools, now is the time to get clear on your profile, identify the gaps, and actually start working towards them. Foreign Admits works with you to help build up your profile to apply to the top business schools in the world. So if you're looking to apply for an MBA program abroad, click the link in the description box below and get started. You can also book your one-on-one -on -one mentorship session with me, Ananya Madhavan, so I can give you advice on your MBA, on your profile, or any other questions that you might have on studying abroad. The link to book the mentorship session with me is in the description box below. Feel free to reach out to us to ask any questions you have about the MBA or applying for an MBA abroad. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos in this MBA series.